My name is Amam Ankwa Befi. Welcome to another edition of Graphic Online's News in Brief, brought to you by... Simply download the Graphic News app from your Google Play Store and get your digital news from your favorite daily graphic, graphic business, the mirror, graphic showbiz, junior graphic, and graphic sports. Now, isn't that easy? Subscribe to any of our daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annual bundles and choose your payment option. Graphic News app, connecting people through the news. Coming up, alleged Takrade girls kidnapper Samoudu took Willis in another case of human trafficking. ECG terminates contract with PDS and Bwipad authorities pills dam. Six people, including the alleged mastermind of kidnap and murder of three Takrade girls, have been charged in a different case involving human trafficking. Samoudu took Willis and the five other accused persons are alleged to be part of a syndicate that kidnapped ladies forced them into prostitution and profited from the act. The other alleged members of the gang are Robert Nana Kwame Hayford, Ni Oblite Kome, aka Awudome, Chief Bello, Clara Kisi and Wan Budu Hayford and Kome were arraigned before the Accra High Court today. While Bello, Kisi and Budu are on the run, Odo took Wills, who is currently serving a 36-month jail term for escaping from police cells, was not arraigned today. Hayford and Kome have been charged with conspiracy to commit human trafficking and kidnapping. Their pleas were not taken and they were remanded to reappear again on November 5. The Electricity Company of Ghana Limited, ECG, has terminated the private sector participation transaction agreement with Power Distribution Services Ghana Limited, PDS. ECG has therefore assumed full operation and financial control of the electricity distribution business in the southern zone of Ghana. Government on Sunday, October 20, announced the termination of the concession agreement with PDS Limited over the takeover of the assets of ECG. The move was necessitated by a forensic audit conducted by the Millennium Challenge Corporation and Government of Ghana investigation into the issuance of demand guarantees for the concession transaction, which revealed that the payment security for the transaction was invalid. Subsequently, the ECG on Wednesday, October 23, announced that all activities including metering, billing, distribution and reconciliation of bills, revenue collection and new service connections, which were hitherto undertaken by PDS, have reverted to ECG. Still on ECG PDS, the Minister of Information, Mr. Kojo Ponkruma, has explained that government was unable to compromise with the United States over PDS agreement because it believes that the concessionaire failed to meet a fundamental term which was to deliver and maintain valid payment securities for the transfer of assets. The United States government on Tuesday halted the transfer of $119 million granted to Ghana following the termination of the concession agreement with PDS, describing the termination as unwarranted. But Mr. Oponkroma at a press conference said, the termination was necessary because the U.S. government and the government of Ghana could not agree on a common path to resolve the matter. Additionally, the government ensures or ensured that no jobs were lost in the transfer process and no jobs will be lost even in this termination process as well. The decision that the government has had to take, as difficult as it is, despite the significant international pressure, is necessary in our view to protect and preserve the assets of ECG and Ghanaians. Men's Gold begins validation process for payments to customers. The management of embattled dealership firm Men's Gold Ghana has announced a schedule for validation of customer documents in order for payments to be effected to them. A statement signed by the head of communications, Niyama Amatefiu, said the validation process will begin on Monday, October 28 to Thursday, November 28, 2019. According to the management of Men's Gold, the validation of documents will take place at 10 designated outlets in four regions across the country. The designated places are Osu, opposite Op Osu Police Station, behind Glory Oil Filling Station, Dansuman after Dansuman Runabout, Odoko, opposite Anointed Electrical Company, Mile 7 adjacent Ecobank, the Madina Tamale Lorry Station and Aoshi 
opposite Victory Bible Church, all in the Greater Accra region. Customers in the Central and Western regions will be served at Kaswa, opposite Walantu Junction, after Jastap Clinic and Bogosu adjacent multi credit, respectively, while those in Ashanti will have their documents validated at Edum adjacent Melcom and Breman behind Breman Park, adjacent Church of Christ. Customers are expected to visit any of their respective outlets with copies of their gold trading agreement, receipt of gold traded purchases, gold trading commission receipt, valid national ID, and evidence of gold retrades receipts or agreements. The Bui Power Authority this morning began controlled spilling at the Bui Generating Station. The dam is designed to hold water up to 183 meters above sea level as the main design level. However, as at 6 a.m. today, the water level had risen to 182.81, hence the need for the spilling to protect the integrity of the dam. For more news, log on to graphic.com.gh, follow us via Facebook at Daily Graphic, and on YouTube and Twitter at GraphicGH. I'm Amar Mankwa Befi. Thanks for watching.